Okay, so at this point you've managed to get yourself into a Viper or a Cobra and we can move on to these Hunter Killer missions. So look out for these crosshairs to pick these Hunter Killer missions up. They may not be available to you straight away. If, uh, if so, just do a couple of missions and they will become available. It didn't take me long to get them. In fact, uh, when I was originally in my Eagle, I tried doing one of these and got my ass kicked. You're going to be coming up against a tough elite ship, depending on who you're doing the missions for. It may be an anaconda or a federal dropship or some other equivalent. So, jump out and look for unidentified signal sources. The easiest way to find these is to cruise along at 30 kilometers a second. When unidentified signal sources pop up, then they'll be within 500 kilometers of you and you can safe disengage straight into them. And that makes it much, much quicker. Uh, they seem to spawn at the same rate, whether you're going at 30 kilometers a second or full speed. So yeah, it's great. It's better to do it this way. Now on this occasion, I got lucky and found the USS I was looking for straight away. And what you're looking for is a ship or a group of ships, and they will tell you where your target is. You simply jump over to that system and repeat the process of looking for USSs until you find this. So when you're fighting these dropships, they are always clean and have no bounties on them. It's very important that you let him fire at you first. Otherwise the system authorities will come in and you will be the wanted man that they come to kill and not him. It actually seems to be pointless to scan the federal dropships with a kill warrant scanner. I always do in the vain hope that one time it'll have a bounty on it somewhere. Albert Einstein once said that the definition of insanity was repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, I'll have you know, Mr. Einstein, I'm perfectly sane. It's the voices in my head that are crazy. Anyway, one thing you need for these fights is a shield cell bank. The other thing is probably a good weapon setup. I personally like to have pulse lasers with gimbaled multi cannons. But each to his own. I wouldn't suggest missiles for this because these things tend to have a lot of point defense and I'm not sure if any missiles you fire at them would actually hit. There are two ways to do these fights and what I'm demonstrating now is the safer way to do it. You sit at around 2.8 kilometers and just shoot at him from there. And to do this you put yourself in full reverse and either move downwards or upwards, it doesn't really matter which. Then when you get to range, you ease off on your rear throttle, keep moving down, and just keep him at your ideal range. He won't hit you very much from here, so you won't take much damage. You'll eventually be able to put full power into weapons. Now, toggle through his subsystems until you're targeting his power plant, and when this power plant blows up, the ship blows up. This makes the fight much, much quicker. I'd say it's always worth targeting a subsystem on a ship, no matter what it is. On small ships you probably want to go for something like the thrusters or uh, one of their guns. Uh, the main thing it does is it actually makes the ship easier to spot if it's uh, like say occluded by a sun or anything like that. There's no real reason not to it anyway. I'm managing to make this look a lot more difficult than it is here just by being fat fingered on the throttle. It shouldn't take much practice for you to be able to hold him at around 2.8 kilometers uh, just constantly rather than going backwards and forwards like I am here. Now, as you can see, this way is a little bit boring and a little bit slow. So what's going to happen in a second is I'm going to get fed up with doing this and move in and do things the manly way. As a man who is revered across the globe for his manliness, 
It's important that I do things this way, really. Now, I may be overselling that a little bit. I'm sure someone somewhere reveres me for my manliness. Leave a comment if you revere me for my manliness. Okay, enough of this messing about. So, get in behind him as quickly as possible. Make sure you're targeting that power core. He'll go down nice and quickly like this. But there is a risk involved. I have been blown up once doing this when I got hit by a plasma accelerator. Damned unlucky, but uh, it can happen. So just be careful. As you can see, when you're close up, that power plant, it goes down fast. So, you go back to the station, claim your reward, and more often than not, there will be another hunter killer mission up for grabs as soon as you turned it in. The rewards are quite nice, as you can see. It shouldn't take you long to rack up a few million doing this. Especially if you do it the manly way. <laughs> 